Today, I want to talk about UPS, the parcel delivery company listed in New York. It first came to our attention in May 2017, when we noticed that rather than invest in growth or even pay down the pension deficit, it was borrowing money to fund stock buybacks. Given the boom in e-commerce, this seemed a little silly and somewhat unfair to staff. We also noticed that since then, Amazon's up 100%, the S&P's up 25%, yet UPS continues to underperform. But before we go on, I must remind you that under Hong Kong SFC regulations, we can't make recommendations and none of what follows should be taken to be investment advice. However, if you are looking at UPS as a potential investment, we think it would be wise to consider the following. First, governance. We think it's often wise when looking at an investment to understand management's incentives because that tends to lead to management action. And when we look at UPS, we see that management is rewarded for short-term share price performance. This would explain why they borrowed money to prop up the share price. This is fine, but the minimal investment in growth means that sales have stagnated. Essentially, the business value is being hollowed out to generate bonuses for management. Second, we look at the accounts. Some very interesting decisions have been made. First of all, although CapEx has just tripled, the asset lives have also been extended, reducing the annual depreciation expense, boosting profits. Again, pension performance forecasts have been very optimistic, further reducing the annual pension expense. Finally, they seem to have taken advantage of the new rules on lease accounting. Now, these were brought in specifically to improve transparency, but UPS has managed to use them to reduce its lease liabilities. Performance. In the past, UPS has reported exceptionally high margins compared to its peers and has traded at a premium. However, we think these margins were unrealistically high. We've already talked about their profits and cash flow margins, but it now appears that these are catching up with the company. First, operating margins are already falling thanks to rising staff costs. We suspect this is because they underinvested in automation, which is why they're now suddenly tripling CapEx. Second, we've already mentioned that we think their pension expense is somewhat low, but ironically, they hardly make any cash contribution to the pension fund, and so as a result, thanks to an accounting anomaly, their cash flow is boosted. We think when the market starts to understand these anomalies, or at the very least they start flowing through into the accounts, the valuation will start to look very different. This is but a brief intro into UPS and some of the problems we've identified. If you'd like to know more, please visit our website or send us an email. And if you'd like to keep up to date with our work, please subscribe. Many thanks.